Oh, don't you love me? Alejandro. Yes. Oh, okay. Checking PCMG thing, my dear. Good, good, good. Okay, so let's put this closer to see what's going on here. Okay, so do you want to start the update? Volume up for yes, volume down for no, and of course we want to start the update, so press volume up for yes. Crap, did I press that? Oh, no, man. Okay, there it goes. So it's updating now, and you're going to have this little stuff going on there. Uh, I guess it's a little late to tell you now, but make sure you have a full battery, or like a good amount of battery. Um, your battery charged before doing all this stuff, because, I mean, it would hate for something crazy to happen. I actually have it plugged in, which I'm not sure if I should or shouldn't, but it's, that's just what's going on. That's how it's going down right now. It doesn't seem to be charging, so, I don't know, it's a little charging moment, so it kind of scares me, but I have about half battery left right now, so I think I'll be okay. Phone's getting kind of hot right now. Oh, wow. And it's just go ahead, it's loading that um, PCMG stuff, um, all the radio version 2, radio custom recovery, all this crazy stuff. Well, maybe not custom recovery, but um, recovery, splash, da, da, da. all this fun stuff here. So it's like this thing. Oh, okay. Do you want to reboot the device now? Press up for yes. Boom. And since we're done with that fun stuff over there, just press any key to continue. Alright, so when it boots up, you're going to see this new um, little boot screen here with the HTC sound. I've missed so much since way back when I had my G1 and I was flashing sense ROMs. Um, just skip the whole sign-in process and everything. And make sure USB debugging is, is connected and all that stuff again. Charge only, and it's fine. Um, so, it should be, but if you don't remember, applications, settings, applications, development, USB debugging. I click stay awake just because I'm um, doing this video here. Now, once we're done with that, we're going to, um, should have USB debugging connected. Perfect. Put your phone aside for a second. And we're going to go to Extras. And we're going to Flash a Recovery because even though we're on the stock ROM again and stuff, we still need a recovery that we can boot into so we can flash um, CM6 or Cyanogen, Froyo, stock um, in the Google app. So let's flash a recovery and we'll see what happens. Oh, it's going to ask you here, what recovery do you want to choose? We want recovery RA. You can choose clockwork, whichever one you want, but I'm going to choose RA recovery just because I'm most familiar with it. And Amon Ra is my homeboy. Amon Ra. Okay, moving reco recovery image, da 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 da, doing some weird things. If the system general in the corner is updated, directory is not specified, data partitions will be. Okay, recovery flash. Press any key to continue. And I think the phone is either going to boot into recovery or it's going to go back to the stock ROM. We'll see in a second, but if it does, we can get back to the recovery. Okay, so here we are. It looks like we are in... I didn't know Eamon Ra's looked like this, but okay, that's fine. We are in recovery. And we need to go to flash zip from SD card. 
This will allow us to flash the CM6. I should probably uh, return. Let me see. Hold on. Um, wipe. Always, always, before you flash any ROM, of course, of course, of course, you want to you wanna wipe. So let's go ahead and do that. Wipe data factory reset. Sounds good to me. Build not set. Press the power button to confirm. Yes. And uh, we are also going to wipe the cache. Um, I'm just going to wipe everything I can. And after I'm done with this, I'm going to wipe Delvit cache also. Press the power button again to confirm. Cache complete. And Delvit cache. Not sure if you have to, but it never hurts to wipe, 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 wipe. Um, wipe battery stats. Sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> Return. Just about wiped everything. Now flash zip from SD card. I'm going to flash CM Supersonic. Zero. Blah, 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 blah. Press the power key to confirm. We're going to let it do its thing. Again, this is the nightly version of CyanogenMod Mod um, 6, which is a stock Android 2.2, uh, which is hella fast. Just about will blow your mind just on how fast this is. Um, so this will not have Sense UI. You could also, um, you don't have to flash Cyanogen. You can flash whatever ROM you're choosing. Um, I'm going to post another good one. It's called Fresh ROM. And um, the guy that makes it is pretty awesome. He's been doing really good ROMs on Hero and stuff. He's uh, very talented at his work. But um, yeah, I'll probably post a, a couple. I'll post a link to that and I'll post a link to Cyanogen in case anyone wants stock Android UI on their phone. Okay, so Cyanogen Mod is installed. Now we just need to flash the Google Apps. Otherwise, when you get into Cyanogen, you're not going to have any Google Apps. So flash zip from SD card. Gaps, HDPI, Froyo, signed zip. Press the home key twice. Got a little status bar there, it's doing its thing. Uh, my friends here <laughs> are helping me out a lot. Uh, Rochelle, she's awesome. Coolest Android chick ever. And then, of course, you have my friend um, Van Dam from Twitter. My brother from another mother, he's got an evil as well, and he's been helping me out too, because I got stuck a few times, but uh, I managed to figure this out. Simple Roots has been pretty easy, i just been freaking out and trying to do things my own way. Okay, no, that's done, we're just going to reboot system. And I'm so excited, I haven't seen this before, so we should be in um, Cyanogen Mod, say CM6, Stock Android 2.2, Froyo. I'm freaking out, man, I'm totally freaking out. They should have actually had a step five on simple root, maybe like flash a recovery, since that is kind of important, like really, really important. Um, but instead, they put it in extras, which isn't really, I don't know. That's what kind of threw me off, because after I did all the steps, I didn't know what to do after that, so I'm talking too much. Let's just let it do its thing, and we should be in a uh, rooted cyanogen stock Android foil room. Oh, it's happening! Oh, good goodness gracious. Okay, this looks so crazy. I almost forgot. This looks absolutely insane on the Evo. It's almost blasphemous. Let's touch that little guy to begin. Uh, we don't need to learn how to use this. I'm going to sign in. Yeah, that's it. I mean, you are you got your stock Android Cyan Engine mod. It feels kind of crazy. So uh, you have a custom recovery. You got your custom ROM. Uh, you pretty much have everything now, so that is just amazing. It feels so good. I hope this was helpful to you guys. Froyo, Froyo, yo. This is so crazy. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, <laughs> I'm totally tripping here. Yeah, so I hope this was helpful to you. Um, thanks for watching. I'm Chris Chavez. Leave me a comment. Leave it on androidandme.com. Don't leave it on YouTube because I'm not going to really respond to those. But yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps.